Hello friends, welcome to my workbook. This video we will be practicing counting of lines from logical reasoning. It's a very simple topic and widely asked in all the exams. So with no further delay, let's begin. The pattern of the question will be like, what is the minimum number of straight lines that is needed to construct this figure? We just have to count the number of straight lines in any given figure. Sounds easy, doesn't it? However, there are some common mistakes that we tend to make while solving such questions. Counting the same line more than once, missing to count few lines, or counting a single long line as multiple short lines. These are some of the mistakes that we tend to make and unnecessarily lose marks so in this video, I'll be showing you a very simple method which will help you to overcome such common errors. And I call that method as HVS. H for horizontal, V for vertical, and S for slanting lines. So for a given figure, we first count only the horizontal lines alone. So let's begin with a very simple figure for practice. The figure here. Let's count only the horizontal lines. The one on top, this is the first horizontal line, and one at the bottom, second horizontal line. So there are only two horizontal lines. Now let's concentrate only on the vertical lines. The leftmost line and the rightmost line. So there are two vertical lines. Now we have to look for only the slanting lines. This is one and another diagonal will also be a slanting line. So we have covered all the lines and we have counted them only once. So the total number of straight lines will be, we have to add all the three, it will be six. So six is the minimum number of straight lines that is needed to construct this figure. However, in exam, we are not given such simple questions. So going forward, we will practice some figures that have been actually asked in the exams. Let's try this one here. H for horizontal, V vertical, and S for slanting lines. First, let's count the horizontal lines. Now, when we count, we should start from the beginning and stop only when we reach the end. That is. We don't stop here and say this is one horizontal line and again we don't start here and stop here saying this is two. This is wrong. We start from the leftmost point, go all the way till the end. This entire line is counted as one horizontal line. Same way here, we have a long straight line, so it is two. So there are totally two horizontal lines. Now let's count the vertical lines. One here. Second one. Third. And fourth. So there are totally four vertical lines. Slanting lines, all the diagonals. One, two, three, four. 5 and 6. So 6 slanting lines. So the total will be 12. 12 is the correct answer. Now let's apply the same method and find the number of straight lines found in this figure. Horizontal lines first. There's one on the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. So totally three horizontal lines. Next, let's focus only on the vertical lines. There is one here, one, two, three, four, five. So totally five vertical lines. Now let's count the slanting lines. First we have a diagonal and one 
So the two diagonals Then you have a slanting line here, three, one more here, four, five, and six. So totally there are six slanting lines. So total so totally there are three plus five, eight, eight plus six, fourteen straight lines in this figure. So here, how many horizontal lines do, do we see? One. This goes all the way till here. That is two. And three. So three horizontal lines. Vertical lines. One. And two. Just two vertical lines, right? Now slanting lines. First, let's start from this point and count all the slanting lines that start from here. That's one slanting line and one more here. So from this point, there are two lines starting. Similarly, from this point, there are two slanting lines So two plus two, four. And then there is one here. So that will be the fifth slanting line and one more here. So totally there are six slanting lines. So the total number of straight lines in this figure will be three plus two, five, five plus six, 11. So 11 is the correct answer. Let's find the number of straight lines in this image. First, horizontal lines. There's one here on the top and one at the bottom. So two horizontal lines and vertical lines. I think there are three, one on the left, one in the middle and one in the rightmost corner. So there are totally three vertical lines. So in most of the images, it will be very easy to count the horizontal and vertical lines. However, mistakes are bound to happen when we count the slanting lines. For instance, in this figure, if we count the triangle separately, that is count the lines here as one, two, three, and then here four, Similarly, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then the diagonals 9, 10, 11, and 12. 12 slanting lines is wrong because we have counted a single straight line here as two short lines 3 and 10. Same way here. A single straight line has been counted as two different segments, 2 as well as 11. We need to be very careful when we count slanting lines. We should start from the beginning and stop only when we, when we reach the end. So let's count the slanting lines one more time again and find out what is the correct number of slant lines. We will begin from this point all the way till here. It's one single straight line and we have a short line here. So there are two straight lines from this point and from this point. Three and one straight line till here. So that will be our fourth slanting line. Similarly, from this point. We have one short line, fifth slanting line, and one long line, sixth one. From this point, there is one more line, 
and one long line so there are only eight slanting lines and it is not 12 so the correct answer would be 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 8 13 i'll give you one more image find the minimum number of lines needed to draw this pattern and leave your answer in the comment that's the end of this video my friends i hope it was useful meet you soon with another learning video